Hey guys, so the book that I'm going to be reading to you is called Day Light Night Light. When light com where light comes from. And it's by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Stacy Shu. So if you ever wonder where does the light come from when we're outside, uh, go ahead and follow along with me and find out. Daylight, night light. In the morning, when you wake up, there is sunlight. Maybe it's cloudy and you can't see the sun, but it really is shiny. If you were flying above the clouds, you could see the sun. In the daytime, there is light. That's because the sun is shining on your part of the earth. Even at night, when you go to bed, there is light. There may be bright moonlight. Even if the moon isn't out, there may be light from the street or from cars or other houses. There is light around you all the time. When it is dark inside, you turn on a light. When it's dark outside, the street lights come on or you turn on a flashlight. Even when all these lights are off, there is still some light. It's hard to find a place that is really dark. Look at those fireflies that she has. They're so pretty. Have you ever seen fireflies? Yeah, I have. They're really neat. Sunlight comes from the sun. The sun is very hot. It sends out light to us. Sun, starlight comes from the stars. The stars are also very hot. They send out light to us. Light comes from things that are very hot. The flame of a candle is hot. The light bulb in a flashlight is hot. And the big bulb in a lamp is hot. We call these hot things light sources because light comes from them. Hot things make light. You see the light in that picture coming from the candles on the birthday cake. And then all of their faces are shining or illuminating because of the light from the candle. A nail doesn't make not light, but suppose there were some way you could heat a nail to make it hotter and hotter. The nail would get so hot, it would produce light. First, there would be a red glow in the room, and when the nail got hotter, it would produce a yellow light, and then light that was almost white. The hotter the nail got, the more light that it would make. That is just what happens inside an electric light bulb. When you turn on the switch, the little wires inside the bulb get hot. They get so hot, they send out a lot of light. So if you see the nail, as they put some heat on it, it gets hotter and hotter. And if they keep it in the heat, the nail gets brighter, starts to send out a light, just like the metal wire inside of a light bulb. So now if you want to look at that little metal wire in the light bulb, the best time to do it is when it's turned off. You shouldn't look directly at a, at a light. It's not good for our eyes.
We see things when they get hot enough to make light. But most of the things that we see, chairs, people, trees, grass, rocks, books, they're not hot. They do not send out their own light. We see them because light from the sun or a candle or a light bulb falls on them. When light falls onto something, it bounces off again like a rubber ball. When light bounces off something, we say it is reflected or turned around. When light bounces off something and it is sent to us, we see that object. So here we have a lamp and the lamp is giving off light and the light falls onto the book. And so when it shines on the book, the light reflects off of the book and into our eyes so we can see it. But it happens so fast that we don't see it happening. We just know it's happening, but we don't see the light moving onto the book and into our eyes because light travels very fast. We see trees and grass, rocks and birds because sunlight falls on them. They reflect sunlight to us. We see the moon because the sunlight falls on it. The moon reflects sunlight to us. The moon does not make its own light. So a lot of people, they don't know that. That moon, that the moon has no light of its own. That it's the sun, the light of the sun that gives the light to the moon. So just like the book on the page before, the lamp shone show, show, on the, the book and to our eyes, the same thing, the sun shines on the moon and back on us. The moonlight is reflected sunlight. Light from the sun also falls on Venus and Mars and other planets. The planets and the moon are not hot like stars. They are not light makers either. We see the planets because they reflect the sunlight to us. Astronauts in space see the Earth because the Earth is reflecting the sun to them. So as you see this bright part over here, that's the sun in the middle of our solar system. And here are all the planets in our solar system that are going around our sun. And if you don't know or remember that the sun is a star, it's just the closest star to us and that's why it looks so big. But other stars are just as big as the sun or even bigger. But because they're so far away, it's hard for us to tell how big it is. For us, it, they look so tiny compared to our sun. But really, our sun is actually quite small compared to other stars in the universe. Look around you. How many things do you see that send out their own light? It is, if it's daytime, you will probably see only one main kind of light, light from the sun. If it is nighttime, you might see the light from light bulbs, or you might see a candle flame, or a campfire, a flashlight, or the stars. So it's hard for you to see the stars during this day because the sunlight is so bright and those stars are so far away that we have to be at night for us to see all the other stars in the universe. How many things do you see that reflect light? Probably hundreds of them. We see most things because they reflect light. see lots of things that reflect the light. Just in this picture alone, there's lots of things. Light travels very fast. You can see this when you turn on a lamp at night. All at once, the whole room is filled with light. Point a flashlight at a tree far away. As soon as you turn on the light, you can see the tree. Light travels so fast, it can go from the moon to the earth and back in three seconds. If you could travel that fast, you could
could go around the world seven times in one second. Wow. Light is just about everywhere. Probably you've never been in a place where there wasn't some light. A dark moon seems very dark at first, but after a while you can start to see things because there was almost always a little light in every room. Try it. Try this experiment. Take a white dish into a room and put it down. Then turn out the light. At first, you won't see the dish. Your eyes will have to adjust to being in the dark. That means that your pupils open wider so that they can let more light in. Your pupils are the little black parts in your eyes, the middle part around the color part. That, then your eyes can use other light sources like the street lights outside. Pretty soon you may see the white dish. Pull the shades all the way down to make it darker. Maybe you can't see the dish now, but you can probably see where the windows are because of the street light. It would be darker under your covers on a dark night or inside a dark closet in a dark room on a dark night. Maybe there would be no light at all. That would be real darkness. There would also be real darkness in a cellar with no windows. Or a cave deep underground would be a really dark place. Maybe you can think of other places where it would be really, really dark. Yeah? You think you got one? Okay. Or our world is full of light that comes to us from things that are hot. Most of our light comes from the hot sun, but we get some light from other hot things, candles and electric lights. All during the day, there is sunlight, even on a cloudy day. At night, too, the earth is lit by the sun. People say it is lit by moonlight, but you know now that the moon does not make its own light. It is just a reflection of the sun. Almost everything we see, books, trees, houses, cars, peoples, people, bugs, and birds, reflect light to us. Without light, we would see nothing at all. So I hope that helped you a little bit on knowing where light comes from. And maybe you'll start looking around you, seeing what creates light in your home, in your community, and out in the sky. All right, and remember, we don't ever look directly into the light because it's not good for our eyes to do that. All right. Thank you for joining me for another story. Have a great day.